good um, good day everybody. So we were going to have a video for our lesson three for your uh, for solving for mean and uh, variance and standard deviation of your random of your discrete random variables. So last time we have already we have five videos already that shows how to know or how to get the possible values for your random variable and the second video talks about how to find your probability distribution or how to make your probability distribution of your random variables. So one of our experiments is the toothing of coins. Toothing of coins and looking and counting the number of heads. Counting the number of heads. Okay. So from that experiment or from that statistical experiment, we determine that the random variable for um, choosing a coin and counting the number of head or heads are 1 and 0. Okay, now, so after finding the random variables, we already count how many 1s and how many zeros. So we have two possible values or two possible uh, random variables, values of your random variable x. Okay, so next we have we have also discussed about what are the probabilities of those random variables. So we have x is less than your 1 and your 0. Then we have, we will go into uh, put your frequency, that is your how many 1? We have 1. How many 0? We have 1 also. Next, we will go into count the number of uh, the summation of your frequency of your x random variable. And we have 1 plus 1 that is equal to 0. So, for your probability of x, we have, of course, that is, for example, your random variable is 1. So, frequency 1, this 1, and over total frequency of x that is I sorry that's not two that's not zero I mean this is equal to two okay that is equal to two okay so one over two and then frequency of zero first that's one over total frequency is equal to Two. So always remember one of the remi reminders that we should always consider is the summation of p of x, which is one of the rule of your probability distribution. Which summation of p of x is always equal to one. So one half plus one half is equal to one. Next. Okay. So after P of X, we will going to determine the mean. How are we able to find the mean? That is above here, mean is actually given by your X, P of X, the summation of your X, P of X. Okay, so that, how could we able to find that? For example, random variable 1. So that is, we will going to stick with this formula, that is X, your X here is 1, that will be X times p of x of 1, that is, times 1 half. Okay, so 1 times 1 half, we have uh, 1 times 1 half, we have 1 half, or 0 0.5. Okay, next, your x for 0, or for random variable, uh, 0 is this one. Okay, times p of x. P of x of random variable 0 is also 1 half. So, 0 times 1 half is equal to 0. Okay. Then, you know already on your lesson there, we have the mean is represented by your Greek letter um, mu. As you can see, it is in the um, form u in your 
letter in the alphabet. So, mu is given by summation of x, uh, summation of x times c of x, which is 1 half or 0 0.5 plus 0, that is 0 0.5. Okay, so already we could say that the mean of your random variable x in the experiment plotting of two points is equal to 0 0.5. Now we are done with the mean of your discrete random variable x. So we are going to proceed to look for the variance and the standard deviation. So previously, we have already uh, the values for your x, of course. So we're going to make a table for that. So that is 1 and 0. Okay. And then for f of x, we have already 1, 1, summation of f of x. So that is equal to 2, followed by your c of x that is given by 1 over 2, 1 over 2 that is summation of c of x of course that is always equal to 1. Next we have your x c of x and we know already that your x c of x determines your mean. So your mean is given by 0 0.5 or 1 half. 0 and mean is equal to 0 0.5 summation of course the summation of x p of x so next formula that we will going to follow that is your x minus mean so for x first value is 1 minus mean that is 0 0.5 that is 0 0.5 okay followed by next value of x that is 0 minus mean which is still 0 0.5 that is negative 0 0.5 okay no need to solve for the summation because we're not done yet in solving your uh, variance okay next value would be x minus mean squared okay square this one that is 0 0.5 Squared. Okay, replace the value x minus mean. Squared that is 0 0.25. Okay, followed by next value is, put it in the parenthesis, that is negative 0 0.5 squared. And that is still 0 0.25. Okay, next value would be, for the final part of your table that is given by the formula Hi, sorry that is given by the formula x minus mean squared okay, times p of x okay, so that's 1 and p of x this 1 or 0 point, uh, 1, 1, uh, 1 half or 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 uh, 0 point I mean 0 0.25 that's for this value times p of x which is 0 0.5 by the way that is not maybe you're going to mistake that one okay so times 0 0.5 that is 0 0.125 Okay, next value, still the same. X minus mu squared is represented by or have a value of 0 0.25 times, of course, your P of X for your 0, that is your, or 0 0.5, that is still 0 0.125. Now, this is the part where we will go to determine your variance. Okay, to note, uh, note that your variance is represented by sigma squared. And sigma squared is given by your formula x, uh, summation, sorry, summation of x minus mu quantity squared times p of x. We need the summation. 
So, in this one, we have already summation. We need the summation. So, for the summation, we have, we're going to add 0 0.125 times 0 0.125 that is equal to 0 0.25. Or the what we call, of course, one fourth. So we don't need to write the one fourth. It's up to you if you're going to write the one fourth. So we have here variance. Take note to write that one. Variance is equal to 0 0.25, or sigma squared is equal to 0 0.25. So to solve for the standard deviation, okay. Okay, standard deviation is represented by your sigma, Greek letter sigma. So that is given by the formula of square root of the summation. Summation of x minus mu squared times c of x. Okay. okay, so going back, square root, we were going to solve for the square root. Okay, so sigma will be... Sigma, therefore, sigma is equal to square root of 0 0.25, and that is sigma is given by 0 0.5. Okay, so recap, we have sigma is, uh, this one is equal to 0 0.25. And of course, sigma is given by square root of 0 0.25, which is actually 0 0.5. Okay, so to know, or the, uh, for this one, we're going to have, of course, mean, again, is equal to 0 0.5. Uh, variance is equal to 0 0.25 and standard deviation is given by 0 0.5. So, this is the result of your discrete random variable in the experiment, a statistical experiment, two things of a coin and counting the number of heads. So, that's all, everybody, and Thank you and have a good day.